Today, I'm going to be showing you how to edit different photos that you generate with AI that have some internal issues. We've been there before where we've all created some images through AI, and maybe the character might have an extra hand or two, uh, might have an extra few fingers, and we want to edit certain parts of these images. Every, pretty much so far, every AI image created might have some errors here and there that you might want to reduce or get rid of to increase your chances of using that image, whether it be for print on demand or for any other feature. So let me show you what I'm doing here. So I have this image that I created using uh, Leonardo AI. And um, it's an AI tool, but there are some small issues here. For example, this sled is connecting all the way right here, like this whole area right here which is what we don't want. You know, I don't want the sled to be this long because the deer is right on top of it. The reindeer, excuse me, is right on top of it. There's also some issues or some things that I would want to remove, like for example, right here, right here, right here. These are some things that I personally would want to remove before I actually use the image and go out there and sell it. So how would I use this? So there's a software here called Lumnar Neo. I'll leave a link in the description where you can get access to the discounts that you're seeing on the screen here. And if you click that link, it will give you different kinds of discount, discounts, different kinds of, um, uh, what's it called? Promotions, things like that. Uh, but anyways, basically what we got going on here is currently a spring, uh, promotion. And so if you click on the X membership elite, it's only $49 a year. So it's usually a little bit more. And if you get all the different features, which are different packages, different assets, it costs a hundred dollars a year or $99 a year, which normally would be about 700 to 800 dollars just on these two alone. But anyways, let me show you what I'm doing here when I use this software. So what I'm doing is first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the image and upload it. Okay. So this is the uploaded image. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to edit and it's time to now erase what I don't want in the image. So let's just go for something very simple like this light here, okay, in the image. Let's say I don't want it here. I'm gonna go over here and highlight what I don't want, just like this, okay? I'll highlight internally, and I actually probably should have increased my brush size, but this is just a simple example. I'll hit erase, and it's gone, okay? Now, there might be some small remnants of it. I can always tackle that in the future, but let's do one thing at a time. So let's take this image, for example. Let's hit erase, and it fills up with that blue in the background. Same thing here. I'll go ahead, hit erase, and it's gone. So right there, we got a few pieces gone. We have a little bit here, like this line. I'll go ahead and decrease my brush size to something that looks somewhat like this and I'll hit erase and there we go perfect so now let's go to something a little bit more complicated like this part of the sled I'll go down here I will highlight this right I'll hit erase and sometimes I might have to do things more than once now we can also run tests usually you'd want your brush size a little bit larger than what it currently is so the current subject that you're trying to erase so for example if i'm trying to erase just this little piece i highlight hit erase and it's gone same thing here i'll go here highlight erase and it's gone same thing here highlight these erase they're gone and once again it's a little bit easier to use this than some sort of Photoshop or something like that. I'm not saying Photoshop is bad. I'm not saying it's the fastest way. This is a little bit easier for me personally and significantly cheaper. If I was to play out the cost of a software like this, um, this software might cost anywhere from $50 a year to $70 to $80 a year, which is significantly less than what something like a Photoshop would cost. Now, obviously, you could do different things with Photoshop, and you can also do different things with this software tool. This is not the only thing that you could do. Okay, so once again, you go through the erasing process, and I'll just sit here and erase as much as I can. I'll hit erase here, and a little bit goes a long way, just like that, go like that. And once again, it's just step-by-step -step little features here and there that I would wanna erase and get rid of it. And so this is what the image used to look like. This is what the image looks now. Now I'm just have to clean stuff up. So what I would do here is I would just highlight something like this, hit erase, and sometimes it fills certain areas. Sometimes it uh, colors certain areas. Sometimes it erases certain things. But basically what you're doing is you're filling, right? You're filling 
um, the, the area that you don't want with what's ever in the background. So let's say like this black line here, I don't want this. I'll highlight this just like that and it will fill with what's around it. So very simply put, makes things a little bit easier, kind of like that, right? Let's say I want to erase this uh, white dot here. I'll go here, hit erase, and it's gone. Same thing here, same thing here, same thing here, right? These will all be gone in just a second. I can erase multiple things, right? I can erase more than one thing at a time, but this is just simply for a tutorial purpose, right? I'll just go over here, hit erase, gone. Now, what if something like this, I've erased too much? Well, I, either I can go back and restore certain parts, like, for example, I could go here and restore this, right? Just like that. Or I can do what's referred to as a generative fill. Now, this is a little bit different, but I, I personally prefer, prefer using the restore, um, but there's something called a generative fill. So I'll show you what that is. So I take this image and I go here to gener generative erase. Now, what is generative erase? It's what I'm erasing, but it's filling it with something else. So it might not always work with all images, but I'll give you an example. So here, if I highlight this, right, it will literally replace this with something else. So if I hit erase, it could be anything. So we give it a second, we let it do its thing, and it will fill it with something else. Sometimes it will fill it as something as simple as the background, or it will fill it with something completely different that we never really pictured uh, that is going to enter the image. So here, let's see what it looks like. Let's, let's kind of remove what we've uh, done here. And it makes a different color for a light. I personally don't need it. I don't like that currently. So I'm just going to use that same feature that I had before. So I'll go over here. I'll go to edit. I'll select the erase button. I'll just highlight over this kind of like that. All right. Just highlight this over, hit erase. And there we go. Good as new. So when you really look at it from an outer perspective, it looks much, much better than what it used to. So it used to look like this. Now it looks like this. And once again, I'm going in and I'm just fine tuning certain details that I don't like to see personally, like certain marks, certain uh, blemishes that I don't like to see. The tool can take care of that. And sometimes you might have to erase more than once. It's perfectly fine. You just go around, go back to it and do it all over again. And by the way, this software also has a free trial. So if you go to the web page, try the free trial, right? You have seven days, I believe, or 14 days, something like that for a free trial. You could test this out, test it on various different images. And maybe without even paying for the subscription, you can get that much work done and uh, not need to necessarily use it again. Now, personally, because I use this software every day, some people might ask, well, what do you use it for? Other than doing things like the erase and, and things like that, I'm using images every single day through an upscale. So this tool, this feature has an upscaler. If you look here, it has an upscale. I can just take an image, drag it and drop it, and it will be multiplied in size while improving quality. One of the things that I really need to stress when I'm running my print on demand businesses is I need to make sure when that image goes out on a, on a poster, on a duvet cover, on a t-shirt, whatever it is to that customer, it needs to be printed out very, very well. It needs to be able to handle being printed at a much larger size. If my image was 200 pixels by 500 pixels or even 500 by 1000 pixels, it's just simply not big enough to bring the best quality forward. If the image looks blurry or pixelated when it's printed on the product, I'm going to have to front the cost from a consumer standpoint because the consumer is going to want their refund and I'm going to have to give it to them. And when I give it to them, I'm going to have to pay. There is no refunds. The print on demand company, the people who are doing the printing, they're not going to say, hey, you made a mistake. Let's give you a refund. That doesn't happen. I have to pay for all of that on my end. So that's normal. That's just part of the business. But I always kind of safeguard myself, make sure I upscale the image, give it my best foot forward so that I could reduce any possible chance of error. And once again, the print on demand company knows if it's their error or if it's your error. Usually if it's, if it's an error on their end, like if there was a mistake in, in a print, they'll take care of it, right? So for example, if they sent the wrong design out or something like that, they're going to take care of it. Um, but if it's something that I have done myself, 
it's clearly my responsibility. I'll have to be responsible. So you kind of get the whole kind of concept uh, behind what this is helpful for. And it definitely, once again, saves you time. It's using the power of AI, erasing certain things, getting rid of certain things, and frankly, making it look better in certain circumstances. So that's it for today. I'm just simply using this eraser. It's the fastest and easiest way that I use to fix errors on my images. I could obviously sit here and, you know, use GIMP, and GIMP is a free software, and I could go in there and try to fix every little thing and pick colors, and, and it would take a long time, uh, but for me, time is worth more than the amount of time, excuse me, the amount of time that it takes uh, I would rather not spend, and I would rather part ways with, you know, 50, 80 bucks, depending on the cost of the software at that day, but like I said, if you click the link in the description, you'll be able to get a discount. For people that don't access the discount, you'll probably pay about anywhere from 100 to $120 for the software, once again, depending on the season, so I'll leave a link in the description if you want to use this. The erase feature, once again, is just one of the many features of this tool. I'll leave some links in the description if you want to see me use this tool for other videos, like for example, I created this poster with this tool. Uh, I created a few other things. So if you want to see them, I'll leave links in the description. You could go ahead and watch those videos. I'll also leave a link in the description to the tool. All right. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you guys for watching and peace out. Bye.